I'm Steve Chadwick, your Mayor for Rotorua. Today I'd like to share some thoughts on the exciting and bold new direction our Council has been working on taking Rotorua forward. Following last year's election, our Council decided to focus on what sort of future we wanted for our district. And after some initial workshops and wider public consultation, we created Rotorua 2030, Tato Tato, We Together. Why did we feel a need to do this? During the election, we were hearing lots of discussion and feedback about what Rotorua re residents felt needed fixing and enhancing in our district. We all acknowledged some significant work had gone on in our past, but we now needed a sharper focus to address issues that challenged us, like lack of growth, unemployment, family incomes, our homes, our economy, and our inner city. This is a shared journey to take our district forward, to craft a positive tomorrow for all of our residents, while determining the vision of what we want Rotorua to be by 2030. We had a lot of positive feedback from the community, and we remain committed to forging ongoing partnerships with our communities to bring this vision to life. For this journey, we need to reach some milestones, starting with what we need to achieve together by 2016, when the current three-year council term ends. Our new direction needs both short-term gains and long-term goals. And Rotorua District Council has to change. During the last six months, we've reviewed our activities and functions to ensure we're doing the right things. We're reshaping and realigning our organisation so that we're focused on moving towards Rotorua 2030. We'll do some things differently, we'll do some new things, and we'll stop doing things if they don't fit in with our vision for 2030. There are four priorities we want to achieve by 2016. One, we want to develop a vibrant city heart that attracts people and activity where there are a few empty shops, more people on the street, optimistic retailers, more diverse use of the inner city. And we want it to be viewed as an exciting and safe place to live, work and visit. Two, we want to develop our economic base by growing existing and attracting new businesses to our region. Where there are new jobs, a higher skilled workforce, reduced unemployment, increased household income and new and different businesses and an increasingly attractive investment environment. Three, we'll support the residential renewal and the creation of healthy homes through homes that are insulated and affordable to heat, with growth in property values and residential building consents reflecting an increase in new builds and refurbishments. Four, we'll have an, a sustainable infrastructure and an affordable and effective council services through a sustainable 30-year infrastructure plan, evidenced ability to maintain and manage to repay debt, and rates within affordable levels, transparent, trusted financial management, and affordable, cost-effective and valued council services. Short-term success will have us moving towards those 2030 goals. A resilient community, inclusive, livable and safe neighbourhoods that give us a sense of place and confidence to be involved and connected. Homes that match the needs, quality, affordable homes that are safe and warm and available to meet everyone's needs. Outstanding places to play, recreational opportunities that are part of our lifestyle that connect us, transporting us and surrounding us a vibrant city heart, our inviting and thriving inner city that reflects our unique heritage and lakeside location. Business enterprise, we boast a diverse and sustainable economy energised by our natural resources and innovative people. Employment choices, we're a prosperous, connected community, growing our education, training and employment opportunities an unspoilt environment. We're known locally and globally for our clean, natural environment, air quality 
and are healthy lakes. How is all of this going to happen? I can assure you this council and organisation are committed to this vision and we've created seven portfolio areas which are each led by a councillor. That's something new. The portfolio leader will lead a process to engage and work with the community of interest and the wider community to develop short and long-term projects, initiatives and relationships that will pr improve our district. The seven portfolios and leads are people, youth, families and older people, Councillor Mary Pekka Rokawa Tate, Te Arawa Partnership, Councillor Mary Pekka Rokawa Tate, Sustainable Living, Councillor Janet Wepper, Sports and Recreation, Councillor Charles Sturt, Creative Communities, Councillor Glenis Sarank, Sustainable Economic Growth, Deputy Dave Donaldson, Inner City Revitalisation, Councillor Karen Hunt. For further information and to contact these portfolio leads, please go to our website, www.rdc.governmentnewzealand slash our council, mayor and elected members, but keep an eye out for updates in the news section of our website. Thanks for taking the time to listen and please don't hesitate to get involved. Rotorua is a place for everyone, tato tato, we together.